Welcome to Morrowind Monday. I'm Nighty the Black Panther Kitty and I'll be the host for this episode of Panthe Plays Morrowind. We were just dropping down a mark over here that we don't have to run all the time through the yeah as you can see the bad frame rate area. It's kind of weird. I got a new graphics card. It does work with Half-Life Alex on the on the um, VR glasses and it still produces a bad frame rate over here. It's it's weird. Well, anywho, let's real quick go to Tell Voss because Master Aaron should be there. I, I need to remember it's Aaron, not Arian. Because Arian is uh, the name of a blind minstrel who lives in or lived in 6th century Britain and received messages from 2084 that were sent back in time. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, listen to um, the final experiment by the band named Ar Arian, or rather the project named Arian from Arian J. Lucasen, who is really, really awesome. And if you do that, then start listening to all of them because they form a whole, a whole story in itself. They, all they are all connected. All the albums of that project are connected. So let us real quick head over to Telmora, and from there. My time is precious, so make it quick. Yeah, I'm going to make it quick. I just want to go over to Voss. Thank you very much. I want to cross the river, even though I could use water walking. I'm going to take the ferry because I do have the money. And there we go. Also, I can hopefully collect some samples here. As you can see, now we have rather normal frame rate. For me, for me, normal frame rate is 25. So I, I don't care about 50, 60, whatever. It's like 25 is the minimum. So the IC is motion picture. <clears throat> and that's, that's what I have in my head. 25 is normal. So 30 means everything is all right. So I'm, I'm not the frame rate lusty guy. Never been. Let's check it. These are already, these are already picked. So they haven't regrown yet. Regrown yet. I do know that talking slower makes talking easier, but I am a, yeah, that's just me. <laughs> I am talking that fast. Mm -hmm. So now we are looking for the master himself. By the way, um, in this playthrough, I did, um, I did kill the the scamp that was here. Is there something um, I can do? I managed to do this. I don't know if he responds. managed to actually kill the scamp that's in here um, of course I was curious to try I think it's a level creature so I should respawn let's see yeah now there's a clan fear and as you can see I've changed my spell up a little a little bit let us take a do we have yes we can restore health and we don't have a weak restore magicka anymore. Ah, oh, that's <clears throat> those potions are rare, seem to be really rare. So the change that I did, which I did not do, well, we have the Daedra's heart, which I did not do in the previous playthrough, um, we should have done is um, I changed it to have the have damage over time. So I only changed the points in the first playthrough. And this time I changed damage over time. I also learned what these five feet mean. I always thought in the first playthrough that it means that I can throw the fireball or the spark ball, which I had in the first playthrough, five feet far, which is not that far. Um, but no, it means once the spark ball, or the, in that case a fireball, hits, it will create a five feet explosion. So yeah, this is why I had no feet in the first trial. And then I learned that up to five feet, it does not make the spell harder or costier. So of course I'm doing five feet in all the spells. A little power gamey, but yeah. So that's the exit to Tel Vos. That's, this is the jail. This is not where I want to go. It's, I need to go to the museum. I think I need to head up one more flight of stairs. And then over here. Hello, good sir. Good hunting. Thank you. A 
appreciated. So we have the central tower. Go ahead, I'm listening. Uh, you can look, but don't touch. Yes, it's all dwarf make and belongs to Master Arian. Orion, whatever. So keep your hands to yourself. I just wanted to ask you where he is. Uh, and she stands perfectly in the way. Ah, uh, these people. I'm going to go crazy. Really? I need to jump through, jump glitch through her to, to be able to progress. Can you tell me where he is? Excuse me, do you know where Master Orion is? I, I can't do a scaly voice, really. If, if, if you want to speak with him. Scaly, so you must levitate up to the top of the tower and look for a door facing south. And of course, I'm talking about Argonians in that game, not about the scalies uh, in the furry fan. Thank you very much. It looks like the mouse is... Yes, the mouse is upside down. I need it to flip the game image upside down in OBS and it flipped everything except for the mouse. Now, this is really weird. I just noticed that. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, technology. So, and now, now I f for for wondering, and, and, and I forgot what he said. So I levitate up to the, to the top of the tower, and yeah, levitate. It should be something that we have. There it is. Levitate five points for thirty seconds. It is something we can do. So top of the tower. Could be that we need to levitate outside, but um, tower door. Up here. That's weird. I should levitate up to the top of the tower. And then I think he's talking about a different tower here. Because that's just a roof. There is there is no wall with a door over here. That should be something that, that damages, uh, that, that well, it should break a bone, but nothing we can't heal. Yeah, just a minor injury. I think he's talking about this tower here, and there's the, this is where we should go. I, I'm pretty sure about that. <clears throat> no, not auto walk. I want to change the spell to levitate. And now just wait for a few seconds for the endurance to go. No, I'm going to do it. So our spell chance increases. I'm sorry. Lots of air in my tummy, wanting to get out. We have a German saying that that equals to um, let everything out that doesn't pay rent. So let's drop a quick save here. And there we go. Oh yes, you, you don't levitate up by jumping. I always forget that. And levitate over here to Orion's chambers. Are you? No, you're not Master uh, Orion. Well, Can you tell me where he what is? May I do for you? I'm Teredus Tulanian, chief of Master Orion's mercenary guard. Providing providing, pro providing for the prosperity of Tel Vos, and the village of Vos is my trade. And, from the looks of you, adventuring is your trade. If you're an adventurer, would you be interested in a little work? Yeah, maybe later. Let me first get to Master A... <coughs> Orion. Because I got something for him. Or maybe I got something for him. I don't know if it's the thing that he wants. So let's just levitate up those stairs. Yeah, it's only five point levitation, so it's very slow. And there we go. We are walking again. Sir, Master Orion. All that you seek, traveler. Well, thank you very much. I've got some. I might have something you may seek. I might have the Daedra skin that you're looking for. Nope. Okay. So as I thought, Daedra skin is its own item in the game. Now that would be. Yeah, it would be funny if if I could barter with him and just buy it off of him. Um, I think I can actually read his notes. I think reading is not illegal. Let's drop a quick save and peek into his notes, shall we? This paper is filled with the cryptic notes taken by Master Arai while reading in Gasta Kevata Kevakis. This thing. Which I won't even try. It's the language of the slowed. I, I won't even try to, to think about how to pronounce these words. It's 
put it that way. Lots of drinks. He seems to be an alcoholic. <clears throat> so, mm, how about that work you mentioned? We've been trying to establish trade links with the Zainab. Master Orion thinks that shared self-interest will make the Zainab more careful about offending Telvos. But dealing with the Zainab is tricky, requiring knowledge of the Ashlanders, a silver tongue and sharp wits. I'll pay you 100 drakes to visit the Zainab camp and find out what goods the tribe would be interested in trading for. Will you take the job? Well, there is no time limit, so of course I'll take the job. I've got a list of things to do once I can charm people, so yep, I'll take the job. <clears throat> Just add that to the list. Good. When you determine the trade goods wanted by the Zainab, report back to me. Well, where is this Zainab camp, by the way? Zainab camp is southwest of the village of Oz, near the foothills of Red Mountain. Here, let me mark it on your map. Head southwest across the grazelands until you strike the foothills, then head south, keeping the foothills on your right. When you pass the Dwemer ruins of Enchulleft, oh, I've been there, on the western edge of the grazelands, you cross an east-west road. The Zainab camp is eight or ten yurts east of the hills and south of that road. Well, thank you for that. So, let us real quick take a note, which will, of course, turn off the music, I'm sorry again. So, first of all, we have the duty. We want Daedra skin to Master Orion in Telvos. We want to learn charm in order to give to go to the sign up camp. Ask for trade goods. And then bring that to Guy in Master Orion's chamber. Let's call it that way. Or study. Study in Telvos. I'm sorry. But if I don't do this, I will forget everything. So let's just note that down right now. Good, so this is something I will postpone for later because I don't want to run around and search for. But do you know maybe no I can see I can't ask around for for Daedra skin. Okay, now we're standing here. I need to, to, to turn on the levitation again. So we can levitate straight down. I'm going to and just levitate straight down. 30 seconds are a long time. I'm going to levitate directly over to Telmora. Like that downwards to Telmora so we don't hurt so much. I don't know if you hurt when you fall into water. In um some games do this, some games get some dames don't, some games don't. And of course now the notes are I would I, I will really really appreciate having another computer or um, more than two screens because I can I don't need to, I even don't need to leave the game to get to my to-do list and stuff like that and I can hook up the second screen to the recording laptop so I can view the recording state and stuff as well as the stream things and the note list and do all of that at once while not having to leave the game. That would be really awesome. But as, as I said, all of this needs to wait until I have digitized the VHS tapes because I now found the perfect settings to do this and I don't want to, to mess around with the settings for PAL recording on my laptop with the HDMI recording thing. I don't know if you hear that hum, that's my cell Deep phone traveler. reminding me of an email. And I'll real quick do this so I can read the chat of the people watching in Twitch. Let's head over to Sedrith Mora and to. I could use. It could have just used recall. Um, that's the button. I can use recall from everywhere in the world. So he has no more duties because we have a. a an open quest, 
How about you? Do you have more cores for me? No. <clears throat> she wants me to ask her master. Nope. How about you? Nope. <clears throat> okay, number four. With the spider on her chest. Do you have any cores for me? Five portions of muck. And I'm pretty sure this is where we left off last time. Five portions of muck. This is why I'm not going to read it out in voice. So now we are going to head... Sadly, I can only have one mark. I could use MCV intervention to go to the nearest temple, but I don't know where that is. Could try, but honestly, let's just let's just walk over here. I'm going to go to Gnesis because there is lots of lots of Max Sponge over there, and just get dirty and harvest the muck for myself, like Lord Vivek did. Remember the Shrine of Humility. Even harvesting muck for our house is not beneath us. And now the frame rate, well, it's it's still below 20, but it is, I don't see much stuttering, so it is pretty decent. Yeah, all, all you youngings with your, yeah, if it's below 60 frames a second, it's stuttering. Oh, come on. Really. It is still playable. I mean, this is not a first-person shooter where you need to react quickly. Then, then the stuttering will be bad, but in that game... This is a pretty slow game, so... Ah, the subtitles. I will stay out of trouble. Going through the Imperial Shrine, up the stairs, into the Mages Guild. What was that about? Just to ask the travel agent. You will want to go to Aldrun and take the Silstrider to Kinesis. And we still haven't done the egg mine thing. And as you see, Edwina is down here. She, in this engine, she doesn't roam around all over the place. She stays roughly where she is. This is also something we could do now. Ah, yeah, it's it's a good. That's actually, I think it's a good idea. It's it's the Gnesis egg mine. I think so. Ah, I can. I think I can bring up the to do list on my cell phone. Yeah, things are getting weirder and weirder over here, as you might know. That's normal for me. So, let us see. There is, There should be lots of muck sponge around here. Let's see over there. Uh, that's a button. Jur journal. Five portions. So, let's get dirty. Not what you think. You're already dirty in your minds. Two. Three. Four? <laughs> ah, that would have been so perfect. Oh yeah, and, and just due to doing lots of alchemy in this in the second playthrough, my alchemy skill is high enough so I see the first two um, effects of an ingredient now. Detect key? Detect key. Interesting ingredient from something alchemy related. Now let's just take that. Ah, over there is more muck. More multi-user jet ki chat kingdoms. Oh my god, talking, speaking, words. <clears throat> Pronunciation. That was number five, but let us jump up here and here and get even more. Let's get greedy, at least a little bit. It's weird that we can just take all. Oh, let me just let me just rip out all those plants here in the town. That's perfectly normal. Nobody cares. Okay. Yeah, little little bit more stuff than than we need to bring, and I think the egg mine we already ran past it. And since I don't know if MCV intervention will bring me to this temple, let's just first head into the egg mine, drop a quick save, so we don't lose progress if we die. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. 
You know, I don't want even, I don't even want to talk to you. I think I should install that mod that changes the AI distance so that I have to walk up to them like this so that they even start to talk. No, that's Tensumiran Cave Dwelling. That's not the egg mine. Okay. Good sir, you're from the Imperial Legion. Can you tell me where the egg mine is? Thank you very much. No, only where the temple is. So this is Gnesis. There it is, egg mine. It's up on the hill, on the east side of town. Careful in there, the Kwama Queen has been blighted. They're only letting miners in. Thank you for that. I need to find a way to get in. What did you say, north of town? Ah. That's, when I, when I re read in the voice, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just reading to, to say things. I'm not actually processing the words. East side. Nicht ohne Seife waschen. East side is this direction. So the the the, the um, mnemonic to remember and yes, I need this to remember the cardinal, the cardinal directions is clockwise is don't wash without soap in German. Nie ohne Seife waschen. Never wash without soap. That is. This is the east of town, but it's just a hut. I guess it is. Yeah, up over here. So we need to get. Along this bridge, we need to head out of the town in the west and then come back the other way around. Outlander. That's what I am, yes, an outlander from the warm lands of elsewhere. What do you want? Go to Gnesis Egg Mine is what I want. All those nosy people. Good day, officer. What are you doing? Um, a quest for the Mages Guild. Thank you very much. So let's see. If we head right here. Just looking over to the stream to see if it's... Um, what is this? This is Guar Trail. Let's, let's follow that and hope that it will take us... Up towards that bridge that we saw from within Gnesis. Okay, it takes us to the left. We should head to the right at some place. Now there is a bridge. It could be... Okay. These are sadly... Just waiting for a little bit of... Um, Fatigue to return, which which is not kind of weird. I always wonder, um, f isn't fatigue? Isn't aren't you fatigued when the meter is low? So shouldn't the name of that stat be the inverse of fatigue? I always wondered. So when my fatigue is low, then I'm very good to walk, right? And when the fatigue is high, then I should be exhausted. Okay, I need to rest. Luckily, this even works like that. So we have the same thing with the fireball than we have with the um, spark, only the damage comes over time, which makes it a bit... I, I think it, make, it makes it a little bit cheaper. We get 75 points of damage, and if I do it in one second, we only get like 50 or 55 points of damage. So it's, yeah, it's, as I said, a bit power gamey. But what else? Are you supposed to do? You know, I am playing this role play already, but sometimes you need a little power gaming. Okay, um, let's cross that bridge and hope that takes us where we want to go, first of all. Yeah, I don't care about that interruption. And there we go. Oh look, lots of enemies over here. Uh, I threw the fireball past him, really. And now imagine me playing Half-Life or any other first-person shooter. I'm really not good at these games. <laughs> and still I enjoy them, especially Half-Life. That's, that's, that's why I played all of them in, in German. He should, yeah, he should hang there, five feet 
radius, so we should be good. No, T is rest, not R. There we go, R is ready magic, and there is even dead. Yeah, I just wanted to say, there is there's lots of bones here, so this chest must be trapped. Let's get out our probe and try to untrap it. We don't have many tries, but it doesn't matter. It'll slowly, if it works, it'll slowly increase our security scale. Well, we don't have any more probes left. We don't have any spell that untraps chests, so we are just going to roll with it and take everything from this diseased Kaguti. Let's hope that this route will take us round to Gnesis Egg Mine. I have no idea where I am. Let's check the... Up here? No, we're, we're walking the complete wrong direction. There's someone standing there. I don't care for him now. Of course, I should just write down. Yeah, let's real quick. Ah, that's the button. Let's real quick jot down that we want to. So there is a guy on the Guar Trail from Lises. That will ban. I'm going to sort these later. Something to. And again, I forgot to switch over to the window where I can see the time. Honestly, it seems like I need 20 screens here. like to, um, And I do know that the next monitor that I buy will be for the home office, because I am working in the home office solely on my laptop screen for a year now. And that's a pain. So this stuff here with two screens over here, that's all right. And I dislike these new fandangled curved screen things. I want two screens to have those snap points for the windows and arrow key, key combinations. Yes, come over here, succumb to the fire, get roasted, you tasty morsel. Oh, well, we can still sleep, although we're not within the city limits. Let's just rest and... This should be... yeah, this should be the way to Gnesis. I actually have this music um, in my relax playlist. Because it's uh, it's really relaxing music. Okay, there is a bridge. Uh, do I need to take it in order to get over to Gnesis? I'm a little bit confused here. No, this this bridge gets is also somewhere over there. Gnesis is there. So let's just do the typical Elder Scrolls thing. Let's try and walk over the mountain. Which is solely dependent on the steepness of the slope and my, I think, athletic skill. So we just walk finally over the mountain. This is also a way to get to the egg mine, and we could have gotten there just, just from within Genesis. Okay, this was confusing. Almu cave dwelling. No, another cave dwelling. Does cave dwelling mean that it's the home of someone? And this looks this looks tasty arranged actually. Do we have oh, they rent bats? That's uh, bats. No, not the flying thing. Do you have skin? No, that's ah, that's niche leather. I thought you had Daedra skin. Mm, that looks tasty. Like a main dish with a side. That looks pretty good. Go ahead. Let's check who he is. No one special, so I'm ignoring him. Ah, but yeah, this is the bridge that I mentioned. So, complete um, self brain paralysis, even so far that I don't get the word. Self confusion, that's the thing. 
Sir, you look what? you look very skinny. You should eat something. You're an officer of the Imperial Legion. Uh, I'm I'm moving along. It's locked. And that's what they said, but they're only letting in people. Well, the door is not marked as forbidden, which is also a thing that this uh, engine adds. I had, in, in the original engine, I had a mod installed that showed me that it's owned or um, which level in the guilds, which faction it belongs to and which level I needed to access it. So here it shows me it's not marked with a red background, so I can just open the barrel without it being... A, like here, here it's red, the red background, so if I take this it's stealing. This sack is not owned, so everything is okay. I can't even take these eggs, that's okay for the game, but I'm not going to do this because these are the eggs from the... Let me ask him about the egg mine real quick. It's... It's locked, yes. I have the key. No, you can't have it. I don't care who you are. Darius says no one goes in but the workers. Who is Darius? Darius is our Imperial Legion commander here in the Death Shed Legion garrison. You can find him downstairs at the Medak Trade House. Thank you. I'm going to try to talk to him. Thank you for doing your job. I know that you're just just doing that, and you're doing it well. So let's real quick walk over to the Medak Trade House, and then. Unfortunately, it is that time of the episode again, where I have to bid you farewell and ask you to wait for next Morrowind Monday. So yes, I am in fact doing the moderation, the closing moderation while I'm walking over to the Medic Trade House, where I don't know where it is, honestly, so I'm going to, so you will have a few more seconds with me that's the temple so much I know where I whilst I check each and every door that's a, some hut another hut I guess that's a third hut that was mister I don't give you your pants until you charm me oh I guess there there's this banner I guess that's that's a banner for the trade house and our athletic skill increased to 30 perfect yeah, that's the trade house. So over here, I am going to stop this episode, bid you farewell and say bye-bye.